Hello guys, today we'll be learning how to add custom showboards in a DIV container. Step 1. Markup. First of all, what we need to do is, is to create a DIV with class container. And in that, we'll add a DIV with class scroll bar. And in the DIV scroll bar, we'll add a DIV with class slider. And after that, we'll add a DIV with class scroll in the container element and then a DIV with class content in the scroll element. And that's it. Moving to step two, where we'll be styling up everything. And the first thing that we'll be styling is the container element, the main element, which is containing everything. And for that, first we'll set it to position relative, as we're gonna have some position absolute items inside the container DIV that they won't go out of the container element that's why we need to set it to position relative and secondly we'll be setting it to hide 200 pixels and this is the thing that you can do at your own you can set it to any hide because scroll will work with any hide as long as the contain content is overflowing the container and that's it now we'll be styling up the scroll element which will be content which will have content DIV and that's so simple we have to set it to hide hundred percent and overflow hidden just to hide everything that's gonna overflow it and then we'll be styling our scroll bar element by setting it to background something dark then position absolute I told you about it already then write 9 pixel width 5 pixel Height 100%, Z next to 1 as it's gonna be top of every element that we're gonna add later on. And then top 0 just to stop it from moving anywhere else. And finally, slider. That's a, you know, That comes inside the scroll bar element and we have to set it to background something blue. Then width 20 pixel, border radius 10 pixel and left minus 7 pixel. Don't worry about position attributes jQuery will do them all itself so now moving to step 3 we will be adding jQuery to the slider just to make it work and it's gonna be super easy trust me step 3 jQuery it's gonna be super easy and fun so let's get into it and first of all what we need to do is is to set the slide it's one of the most important things so before starting our jQuery code, we need to wrap it on in documented ready function. It's really important and you should not ignore it at all. Then secondly, we're gonna get the height of content element, then the height of scroll bar element, and then we'll find the percentage of scroll bar height over the content height, and this is it. Then we'll set it to slider using the height property just like here super easy we are setting it to percent rather than converting it into pixels and then to enable its functioning we have to set slider to draggable using jQuery's draggable method and then we'll set it to concentrate its movement we're gonna set containment property to parent and access property to y then drag property to enable a function on every time user drags it and on drag what we'll be doing is we're gonna get the position top of the slider element. Then we're gonna get the scroll percent which is position divided by the height of the scroll bar element. Then what we'll be doing is we'll be converting the scroll percent into pixels by dividing scroll percent by 100 and multiplying it to the content height. And the last thing that we need to do is, is to scroll the scroll element using the scroll top property of jQuery and providing height as scroll pixels to it as you can see right here and it's now complete. The last thing that we have to do is, is to close everything that we have open and we're done. You can get the source code on codepen.io, it's super easy there, you can try it out and give it a big thumbs up for this video because as it's been a long time without you and now we are finally back make sure to subscribe me for more as I do make new videos every week and you can follow me on Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere else links in the description below and you can also buy awesome stuff links in the description below make sure to check them out as they're sold by me and finally bye